All right, we were doing our stretching during the break right there because we got a big segment <laughs> coming up here. Yeah, welcome mm -hmm. back to Toledo's most local 9 a.m. show. Good day, good to see you. Ryan, I know you're not a runner. Mm, no, I'm not the most athletic when it comes to that. I am not a runner either, but if you could run for donuts, would you? I would at least lightly jog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like for a, a fast, donut? small pace? Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you can run for donuts and other great prizes this Sunday in Perrysburg. Matt Folk joins us with from Second Soul with Tim Carney from Toledo Roadrunners Club. Thanks Gentlemen, for Gentlemen, thanks Good for morning. being here. Morning. You brought thanks the fun us. with you as well this morning. Yeah. I like yeah, this. We, we brought some of the prizes that you <laughs> oh, can get nice. for that race. <laughs> <laughs> I, I figured you'd get, now there have to be actual donuts involved, right? There's, there's definitely actual donuts. Okay, there's, good. There's, there's, there's a couple okay, ways yeah. you can just do it. People, if not, just we're going to have to make them have donuts involved. Yeah. Yeah. So every there's a it's a four mile prediction run. So you can just run. You predict how fast you think it'll take you, or how long you think it'll take you to run four miles. Do the event, and then when it's done, um, just enjoy some donuts afterwards with everybody. And um, the people who are closest to their prediction time win some fancy prizes like we have here. <laughs> or there's another aspect to it, and a little bit more challenging one okay. is there's the Crazy Eight Challenge. So you run the four miles and you eat four donuts. Donuts. Oh. So basically, every mile you eat a donut. Oh! Wait, you like stop and eat a donut? You stop yeah. and eat a. You eat one at the start, and then the next three miles you eat one. So you could do this. Okay, I, I, okay. So I find this very interesting. I've heard of some of these donut. <laughs> He's runs like, more. wait, maybe I'll run. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, is, this is a little more tame. Do you have golf carts? We could go for no, <laughs> station. Um, what? Tell me more about this prediction run, because every race I've ever heard of, you just. Try and go as fast as you can. Yeah, so it, so the win, it, it's, it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you are, it's just how close you are to You're your speaking my language, go <laughs> on. Nice. That's right. So you just guess, you know, if you think it'll take you 40 minutes to do four miles and yeah. um, takes you 39, 30, just off by 30 seconds. But surprisingly, we give awards to the top 10 prediction winners. Okay. Um, just kind of like some of the inflatables and gift cards and different things that way. And surprisingly, in the years past, we've had our top 10 within 15 seconds, probably. Yeah. of. They're pretty close. People get pretty close, and even people get pretty close with prediction run and eating the donuts while they're running the race. Oh, so you can cool. kind of combine a little bit. You can bit do both. Can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If, you, if you know that it's going to take you a minute to eat each donut, you add that into your prediction time. Now, you oh. can't be like within sight of the finish line and all of a sudden turn into like a, a slow... <laughs> Which, well, you could. You could if you wanted to, but you're not allowed to wear a watch. That's oh. the big thing. So, you know, so everybody you don't wears, know how fast. You really right. don't know how fast. There's no clock. There's no time. That's so. what I was thinking, So when the too. gun goes off, you just start going one Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> really good at counting and pacing it out. This could absolutely work. Okay, so this is really fun. Where is this happening again? It's at Second Soul and Levis Commons. Yeah. Um, Sunday, January 7th. Okay, and what's kind of the route that you run there? So you, I imagine you would park in the main parking lot right there. Yeah, you can park behind the store or near where the Christmas tree is now. Yeah. And then uh, just kind of zigzags through the plaza a little bit and then hops on the bike trail by Perrysburg High School a little bit as well and starts and finishes right in front of the store there. I like your logo. So this is the, yeah, this is the donut <laughs> dash technically. Um, how long has this been going on for? Um, the Toledo Roadrunners have done it for a really long time. We started hosting it back in 2010. Okay. Um, they used to do it in Woodland Park years before where they would just kind of stand out in the cold and do it there. And one of the Roadrunner members asked us if we could host it at the store, and we've been doing it since 2010. This is a blast. Wow. Okay, this looks like a lot of fun. So here's yeah. some of our, I assume, some of our winners, some of our costume wearers as well. Yep. Um, Maybe from last year, it looks it's, like. It's really just to come out and have a great time. Sure. It, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the new year. Enjoy uh, something different, right? And it's low cost, it's only $5 for non-members, it's actually free for our membership. So we actually, we, the last couple of years, we've had about 200 people that have come out to, to the event. Well, events. it's a low price wow. for a really fun, unique event. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. right. Glad that you're including a lot of people. You also said this is fun for the new year. Speaking of the new year, you do have a fun way that we can ring in the new year, right? Yeah, we do. So the club also hosts a midnight special run, which is a midnight, it's a 5K. Uh, that's held at Painted Saints Brewery. And that starts at 11.45 p.m. For the late on, night on, on, mid, yeah. on, New, Year's on New Year's Eve. Eve. Yep. Uh, and then it's on the University Parks Trail, so it's safe, it's secure. Mm -hmm. yep. And then if you're really fast, you can finish within the same year. <laughs> but if it's over 15 Has minutes... Has anybody you, finished within the same year? I don't know that. I don't think they, so. I think it's been close. There's been a couple of games right there. Because you have to do 5K there. in less yeah. than 15 right. minutes. That's, yeah. that's booking it. Yeah. And then only 12 hours later, we have what's called the Hangover Classic, which is another 5K. Why do you and call it that? 
<laughs> I don't know. You know, it's you just a name that stuck for so many years. I, I can't really remember. <laughs> Too much sparkling grape juice. Yeah. Here. <laughs> but all these events, the Donut Dash, the Hangover Classic, it's really, you know, from a club perspective, it's to get people out enjoying running, enjoying activity, enjoying events. You know, Donut Dash is great because people set their New Year's resolution. You can mm -hmm. get fit, you can stay in shape, but then you get a donut as a, as a prize after one week of doing everything right. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so what, if people want to sign up or want to do that this week, and how can they sign up for it? Um, you can go on runsignup.com and just Google search or just search on their um, Donut Dash. Yes. It'll come up that way. You um, could, yeah, you can also go to our club page, ToledoRoadRunners.org, and you can find a listing of events and all the links there. I think this is fun. You're keeping people engaged. Like you said, it's also the new year. So if you are starting a resolution, this is kind of an, a way to ease into it. I love yeah. donuts. Yeah. Maybe I could start trying to run a little bit, but I also I get donuts. More donuts like next year, so well, this is like your way of that, that could be a resolution for next year as well. <laughs> but it's a good way to get signed up and kind of get started. And you're keeping everybody engaged during the winter months as well. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Very fun, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Well, thank thank you. you. Thanks for joining us. This is great. You're all about this. <laughs> we know where Ryan's going to be this weekend. <laughs> My belly's already grumbling. All right. We've got so much more good day yet to come. Hope you stay with us. And I hope I find some donuts.